Dialogical gathering is a collective building of meaning and knowledge through dialogue. regardless of age, gender, culture, or ability. To universal classical culture and scientific knowledge gathered by mankind over time. The gatherings are based on sharing, showing full respect of one's right to speak. This generates a very rewarding exchange that allows greater depths into the topics discussed and promotes the building of a new knowledge based in an egalitarian dialogue. In the sessions, the teacher assumes the role of moderator with the only idea of facilitating and encouraging the equal participation of all the students. Interactive groups are a form of classroom organization that so far has generated the best results. It consists of grouping all the students in the class into four or five small groups, which are as heterogeneous as possible with respect to level of learning, gender, language, motivation and cultural origin. Each of the groups is accompanied by an adult volunteer from the school, the families and or the community. This person enters the classroom to encourage interaction between the pupils. The teacher prepares as many learning tasks as there are groups, normally four. The groups change activities every 15 years. To develop the successful educational actions, it is important to be trained in a scientific basis, theories and the evidence endorsed by the international scientific community. Moving from assumptions to evidences is vital in education. To achieve this, it is necessary to refer directly to the most relevant theoretical sources in the world and to the outcomes of the highest level of research into education. Teachers in particular have to be prepared to know how to argue for their practice and distinguish between opinions and scientific knowledge. This is how successful educational actions are incorporated into the classroom. Likewise, teachers will also begin to assess their training based on results obtained by their students. To achieve this, a successful educational action is the dialogic pedagogic gathering. Knowledge is built up through books that the international scientific community has validated as a benchmark. Members of the community are encouraged to get involved directly in the processes and school learning spaces, including the classroom. This is fundamentally materialized in two ways, with direct participation in successful educational actions, as well as in other forms of extended learning time of the school through mixed tasks. In a learning community, the school governance is developed by a management commission and various mixed commissions. The Management Commission comprises the management team and representatives of each of the mixed working commissions. These commissions, made up of teachers, relatives, volunteers and students, are responsible for carrying out the transformations decided on by the school in the dream stage. Approved by the school council, the commissions have autonomy to plan, make proposals and assess all those priorities that have been decided on by consensus. Some examples of mixed commissions are learning, library, training, volunteering, coexistence and infrastructure. <laughs>